I'm your host, Clint Chaffin, and as you can see today, I am in the cab of a tractor planting corn. And I thought it would be beneficial to step you all through all the things that farmers pay attention to and look at and ultimately try to accomplish at the end of the day after going back and forth in our fields here. So with that, stay tuned and I'll be right back. So on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about all the different aspects about planting corn. How, how are we putting the seed in the ground? What are the things that we're paying attention to while we're sitting here in the cab of the tractor? And there's a lot of technology involved too nowadays. So I thought it would be fun to step you all through, like I said, what we actually do while we're sitting in the cab. So, so first off, I'd like to start by really talking about just some of the, the basics of, of planting and some of the vocabulary that goes along with that. So as you can see behind me, I am dragging this planter across the field. Now what this planter is actually doing is it's taking seed from those big gray things right there, taking them into a tube, throwing them down to the planting units and actually putting the seed into the ground. We have 12 planting units, so this is a 12 row planter and we're planting these on 30 inch centers, meaning that there are 30 inches between each row. Now, the other thing is that you'll end up hearing a lot within, uh, within planting is population. And whenever I say population, we're talking about how many plants that we're putting in the ground per acre, how many thousands of plants. So in this case, I'm planting right now at 35,000 plants per acre. So for every acre of, uh, of ground that's out here, there's 35,000 corn plants or seeds that are placed in that ground. The other important aspect is planting depth. And so whenever we talk about planting depth, we're actually talking about the depth of the seed into the ground. Now, for us around here, corn, we're trying to put our corn right at two inches. And it's very important to try getting that seed very even, every seed at two inches, to make sure that we have uniform emergence, meaning that when the, when the corn actually comes out of the ground, when it starts growing, that all the plants come out of the ground at the same time. So there's a lot going on, a lot of different settings that we have to really pay attention to on the planter to make sure that we're hitting all of those different parameters. So for planting depth, we wanna make sure that we have the right, uh, the right down force. We wanna make sure that we're not going too fast and bouncing too much and, and putting too much variation on that. We're actually setting the depth of the planter, meaning that we're putting the disc in the ground a little bit deeper uh, to make sure that the seed is, is hitting that uh, optimal, optimal depth. Now, I'm not gonna go into all the agronomics about planting, because there's a lot more pieces there of, of all the different technology that goes into the seed, uh, the different maturities and things of that nature, but that's not what this video is about. I really wanted to jump in and say, what are we doing when we're actually out here in the cab of a tractor? So first off, you can see the first thing that, uh, that you may notice, I'm not touching my steering wheel, right? This thing is driving itself. So pretty much, you know, we had a Tesla before Teslas were cool, right? I mean, come on, we got auto steering, we got autopilot here. Uh, with auto steering, what we're actually utilizing is we're using GPS, using the satellites, uh, that's actually setting a heading within this field, and then the tractor stays exactly on that heading. And in our case, we're actually using a very high accuracy signal, meaning that uh, this tractor will stay within one inch of where it's supposed to be on that heading. So we can make really straight lines while planting and we can really optimize the entire field. So we're not leaving anything blank uh, and we're filling in the entire field with as much crop as we can. So really driving up that efficiency as well as you know just better efficiency for time and a lot less wear on your body because you're not paying attention to driving. The other piece that, uh, that, we're, that, that you can see over here is there's a lot of things that are monitoring what my planter is doing. So similar to, you know, probably people have seen, uh, uh, you know, a, a cockpit in an airplane and there's a whole bunch of different gauges, right? Every, all those gauges are, are telling you different things about, you know, the weather around you, the altitude, all those different things. Well, planting monitors are very similar. We use these monitors to really help us, you know, pay attention and to monitor everything that's going on in that planter. So I said, population is an, population is an important one, 
One of the first uh, pieces of technology that we started using on our farm uh, would have been a population monitor, meaning there's a sensor on all 12 of those rows that I talked about before that's actually seen every seed that's going past that sensor and counting each and every one of those seeds, telling us whether or not we're planting our 35,000 plants per acre. So that's one of the first things that we started using on our farm that was probably one of the higher technology pieces of its day. So that's a little bit around the basics of planting and some of the vocabulary that goes along with that. So now let's actually look at some of the things that I actually look at while I'm in the cab of this tractor. So how do I monitor this and pay attention to, to all the different things that are going on? Because it's always to keep this in mind. Planting is one of the most, if not the most important job that we have within farming. Our livelihood depends on this crop going in at the optimum, optimum timing, optimum depth, optimum population, all of that. So we wanna make sure that we are doing everything correctly because we only have one chance to do this in a year. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're doing this all all correct so first part of the technology is actually going to be on the planter monitor itself i'm going to kind of zoom in here and for us we run a precision planting 2020 monitor uh that's uh that's plumbed into our uh, our case ih planter here so the thing is here we can start monitoring our population so as you can end up seeing this one says 35,000, which is what we're trying to plant. And we can actually monitor that row by row by row. So not only is it showing me the average of the entire planter, it's showing me what each individual row is doing. That way, if one row starts acting up, I know exactly where to go look, uh, where I can stop the tractor, jump out, and I can start uh, checking out that planter unit that's, that's giving me that issue. The other piece up here, which is a really neat, uh, neat piece that we really just started using probably in the last like five to 10 years is singulation. And singulation is really saying, okay, you're putting out 35,000 plants, but is the spacing between those plants right? Is the, are you getting skips? Are you getting doubles? Uh, all those different pieces. So if you think of an old school uh, population monitor, which was really one of the first pieces of technology that we really started using on our farm. All they did was just count the seeds, right? How many seeds are going in? They didn't care about were they spaced good or were there double seeds or were there, was there a skip? Uh, and what we started realizing is we have all this technology and we can actually monitor not only the population, but we can see how 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 good that singulation is between each each uh, and every seed and what we're trying to achieve is a hundred percent singulation now that's a pretty hef hefty feat but you can see on this one right here i'm currently sitting at 99.2 percent singulation that's pretty good things i can do to change my singulation slow down if i maybe uh maybe i'm going a little too fast uh, we'll start getting a, a few more uh, a few more skips or maybe a few more doubles uh, and so we can start uh, start adjusting our speed uh, to maybe start driving that singulation back up. Now the other things that we can end up doing is we can adjust uh, some of the things actually on the planter itself when we start thinking about the mechanical aspects of that. Oh, it's beeping. I better take a break here real quick and turn the corner here. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, had to turn the corner there. So the other piece to that is actually adjusting how your planter is actually controlled. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways that a, a planter can actually uh, put the seed into the ground. So you can have something from a ground control uh, planter, which is actually a wheel that is rolling on the ground, which is running basically a bike chain, which is going up to a shaft, which then goes across and actually turns all of the 12 rows, right? Each, each row. The other uh, way that you can do that is you can have hydraulic drives. And maybe that hydraulic drive is, is running a chain down to a shaft uh, that's only running four of the 12 rows. So you have, you know, three hydraulic drives that are out there running, right? Uh, the more drives, the more control that you have to adjust it on, on, uh, on more of an individual basis. Now, how this planter is actually uh, set up is we have uh, Precision Planting's uh, V-Drives, which is actually a little electric motor on each individual row. So we have 12 electric motors back there directly on the, uh, on the uh, meter 
which is the uh, the thing that actually uh, singulates and, and drops the seed. So I like to say that we basically have 12 ind individual planters back here that I'm monitoring all from the cab up here. Now, as we start looking at a few other things, uh, we can start seeing what our seed spacing is. Uh, I'm getting about uh, six inches between my uh, my seeds. And again, that correlates back to the population that you're, that you're putting. If you're putting a higher population, you're gonna have less distance between those seeds. Um, now, the other piece, you can see that I have this uh, good spacing, which is actually determining, okay, am I getting that, uh, that, that right spacing, which also correlates back up to my singulation. Another thing that I look at is my downforce. Am I putting too much weight down onto the ground, causing too much compaction? Uh, and agronomically, we do not want too much compaction. We're already causing enough compaction out here as you think of this giant uh, uh, tractor that I'm driving throughout the field as well. So ways that we uh, help with that is we actually have airbags uh, on each uh, each row unit. And uh, we're actually have this thing hooked up to our, our, uh, our, our trash trash cleaners. Uh, but anyway, you can see that I actually have a, uh, an air tank hooked up to this. And uh, what that does is actually uh, adjust the amount of, uh, of pressure, uh, either up or down on that row unit. Now, we don't have the latest and greatest on that technology. The latest and greatest is actually putting a hydraulic uh, cylinder on each individual row that makes a whole bunch of adjustments per second and gives you pretty much perfect down pressure. I've been bugging dad trying to get him to, uh, to do that upgrade, but uh, maybe one of these days, maybe one of these days. Now, the other thing that we end up getting into is actually the control of the planter itself. Uh, and what I mean on that is uh, there's a couple different monitors here. So this controls my population up here that I've been talking about. But then down here, I have another monitor that actually controls my seed going from those big gray, uh, gray bins back there to each, uh, each individual row unit. And things that I have to adjust on that are going to be my vacuum control. And a vacuum, I talked about that, that seed meter back there, as it turns, it goes through a whole bunch of seeds and it uses vacuum to suck those seeds to the plate, which then actually ends up going through a singulator, which then drops it down into the seed tube, into the ground. So we need to have a vacuum there to make sure that we're, we're collecting those seeds. And in my case, I'm using, uh, uh, I have a setting of 20 uh, for, uh, for, I'm not even sure exactly what that, uh, that, de that is, inch, per H2O. I'm not sure exactly, I'm not a scientist here, but I have it set on 20 and that's what it's supposed to be on corn. Now the other piece is gonna be this uh, bulk fill. And you can see in between those, uh, those gray bins, there's actually a fan. And what that does is it actually creates a bunch of pressure to push the seeds to each, uh, each one of those row units. So then the meter can pick it up and utilize that vacuum. So I actually have to turn that fan on and make sure that I have enough RPMs going. So you can see that I have 3000 RPMs. There's my beeping again. Gotta turn the corner. Okay, I'm back again. So every time that you hear, uh, hear me say I gotta turn the corner, I actually have to uh, grab a hold of my steering wheel here. I have to use some of my, uh, my controls down here in this little, uh, this little area. I don't know if you can see that here. Yeah, in this little area here. And actually have to raise the planter out of the ground, do my turn, and then put that planter back in the ground. So uh, those are all the things that I'm doing as I'm going there. And also, I'm, uh, while I'm doing all that, I'm trying not to hit you know, a tree or a power line or something of that nature. So a lot of things to pay attention to when you're turning corners. So the last thing that I'm gonna end up talking about on the technology side uh, is actually then all of this data, all this information is then feeding in to an iPad that I have sitting down here then as well. And, and this iPad, for, for us, it's running uh, Climate Field View, and then it's uploading all that data that I'm talking about. It gets uploaded all to the cloud, and now we can access that information from anywhere. So I can end up seeing all of my hybrid uh, maps, seeing exactly what hybrids I'm of, of corn that I'm putting out here. Uh, and then also I can see things like my population, my downforce that I'm applying, uh, all those different pieces, my singulation, all those different aspects, uh, and 
we can also see the speed. So dad can kind of monitor, uh, hey, am I going too fast or am I not? Uh, so there's a lot of neat things that are going on uh, as we're collecting all that information. The other thing that that allows us to do is it allows us to look at that information really on about any device that we have. So any of our cell phones, tablets, anything of that nature. So another really, uh, really nice piece there. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. This is just a small piece of what's going on out here in the, while we're planting. There's also a whole bunch of agronomics that goes behind this uh, that uh, I will leave to a, a technical agronomist and, uh, and not myself, uh, but hopefully, y'all enjoyed this uh and remember if you like the video be sure to like the video subscribe and ring the bell to get notified each and every time that we put out new content so with that we'll see you later take care